Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel. Walter. And I seem to re uh, Walter thinks we've flown Hawaiian before. And Walter knows we've flown Hawaiian before. I think this is the first time. Were it? Uh, I'll, I'll yeah. demonstrate and prove that we've oh. flown Hawaiian before because I have a Hawaiian Airlines credit card. Oh, okay. Anyway, this is the start of a 10 day trip to the Big Island. There are four national parks there. We're going to visit all four. And then it's five days to Oahu. And there's two national parks there. One is... Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor. One is Pearl Harbor. And I don't know what the other one is. I know there's two. I looked it up. But I don't remember the name. Five hour flight. We get breakfast and as much alcohol as we can drink. And we connect to the big island. Oh. It's not a direct flight to Hawaii. It's a direct is. flight not to Hawaii, the island. Yes, it's a non stop flight to Maui and then we connect to the big island. Second flight. We're in Maui right now. Connecting to Kona. And we're we're in a four four row, two, two row. row, two row first class seats. It's, it's okay. a whopping it's total of eight seats on this plane. It's actually not that much space. It's better than steerage. Yeah, it's better than back there. Than behind the curtain. <gasps> With the humidity here, my skin is just going. Alright, we have made it to Kona. Kona, the big island. It's Hawaii, but it's the big island of Hawaii. In Hawaii. We're supposed to be on the dry side, but it's humid as can possibly be. Oh, we're in an island. My skin is just loving it. My skin is going. <laughs> Alright, so the, the stewardess at the flight proved me wrong. We apparently have been in Hawaiian Airlines before where she remembers me from several flights. She remembers him from the last two flights to Maui because she does the Maui flight all the time. So this is our third flight on Hawaiian Airlines to Maui. So she said, I don't see you on the flight back. <laughs> Although we're going to fly back through Honolulu. So she probably won't see us on the flight back. But it was funny because she recognized him and even reminded him of things from the previous flights, like his knitting. People remember, people remember me. I don't know why, they, they just do. Oh, and this last flight was fabulous. The, the stewardess gave him a Diet Coke. And she was probably thinking, oh, I don't want to give that Howley regular Coke. Diet Coke. <laughs> she may have been thinking it, and that's why I got the Diet Coke. She doesn't even know that I've lost 10 pounds in the last six months. But that's okay. Oh, she said, Howley, fat Howley, give him diet. Give him diet, uh-huh. <laughs> the funnier part was that she gave us ice, and then Ariella ginger ale, me a Coke, and then right after we poured our glasses, the announcement came, okay, we'll be picking up the service. We're ready to land. We barely could drink even one glass. Just five minutes, maybe eight. We so were up in the air. She that comes back. She lets us. She lets us refill the glasses. Takes the cans away, and then says, "Okay, you're going to have to hold those until we land because we have to sit now." <laughs> so it was, I think, the shortest flight we've ever taken. And we fly from LA from Las Vegas to LAX occasionally, and that's a pretty short flight. That's about 25 to 30 minutes. I think this one was shorter. I think this one was closer to 20. So, anyway, it's great to be here. We're just sitting. I'm. I'm We're sitting here I'm waiting for absolutely, Uber. Absolutely. I'm. I'm happy right now. We're Oop. just waiting for Uber. We're not even at the hotel. We're sitting at the airport. Uber Center. will be here in two minutes. Center media. And I'm just. I'm just happy to be here. 
Smell is beautiful because there's a little bit of fragrance, even though we're in the middle of a lava field. And you can smell the flowers, and they're everywhere. Already having fun. Oh, you can smell it. You can smell the flowers. Everything's always in bloom here. <sighs> okay, we are staying at a courtyard. And apparently, Walter is a titanium elite. Here's the room. I'll show you the bed. There's the bed. Courtyard. They never give you two luggage racks. I don't know why. So there's the big suitcase and there's the closed suitcase. They should give you two of these in every room. We're gonna take a nap and then walk along the promenade see what's out there and then come back and have dinner here because we have a $23 credit $20 a day $20 a day credit and there's a $22 a day resort fee oh, that's ridiculous so, the resort fees are ridiculous it's just another tax that the hotels have done to themselves that's why a lot of people don't come don't go to the strip anymore because of the resort fees it's ridiculous so they have a chance to charge it once, but as far as getting the same clientele back, what I keep hearing is no, we're not coming back to that particular hotel or resort because of the resort fees. So they get them once and that's about it. After that, they stay in the hotels around the strip. So that's gonna end when more people talk about it. It's stupid though. The resorts that have the resort fees are shooting themselves in the leg. Seawall. Seawall. Sunset. Look at all these restaurants were nearby. we at? Kona. Kona, and what is this? Hawaii's first church established 1820. Yes, according to the sign. You just said this was an old town. We're eating at the hotel to get our $20 credit. And Walter is having Kalua pork. And I'm having the ribs with rice and very delicious cucumber kimchi.
Okay, we're getting the buffet. Hello. Rice, fabulous. And this is an omelet or it's not an omelet. Scrambled eggs. Yeah. Good morning. Oh, ham. Ham looks good. Pancakes. Lots of bacon. Miso soup. Ooh, miso soup. Oh, fabulous. Real guava juice. And this is the reason why we're getting the buffet. Good morning. Mushrooms, onions, scallions, ham and chorizo, and jalapenos. Okay. That's chorizo, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll be right back then. Basic fruit, papaya. Okay, this looks good. Oh, you could make lots. Okay. That one's not mine, is it? Oh, I don't want cheese. Oh, no. I would have asked for cheese if I wanted cheese. I don't like cheese. Okay. We'll do that again. No, just scrape the cheese off. All Okay, tomorrow I come back, no cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Probably because I walked up right behind you and asked for cheese. Oh, you asked for cheese. So this is this gentleman's fault. It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for taking the blame. <laughs> All right, we got miso soup, rice with lox, and all the accoutrements, guava, scrambled eggs, 
hard boiled egg and guava juice. And then we got the coffee from the other shop. And this is our view. Wonderful. What happened when we could not get a car rental with Hertz? Hi, this is Walter from Wandering Wanda. And our plan to just rent a car for a day and then have a rest day and then rent a car for another day was a complete failure. So Hertz has no rental cars available for two entire weeks and all of the other rental companies don't have any cars available either. So the nice young man at Hertz told us that there's a company called Turo, T-U-R-O, that allows you to arrange rentals of private vehicles from individuals, as similar to Uber, where it's a private service. So we logged on to that. There were no cars available today, but there are cars available tomorrow. So we decided to rent a car for two days and we will do the Volcano National Park tomorrow so we can stay as late as we want. And then we will do the other national parks closer to Hilo the day after. And then we will return the car in the evening and only pay one hotel fee for parking at $25 just to use their empty parking lot. And uh, we're paying $99 a day for the rental car. Uh, plus the fees for Turo, which are 20%, and then they tried to sell us overpriced insurance, and not a big deal. We declined it. We have other insurance that will cover us. So, all happy. All right, this whole Turo renting from a private individual is a learning curve for us. So, yeah. we'll it's, see if it works out. Hopefully it does. It is going to be fine. We're yeah. having fun. All right. Okay. On with the walk on around. With our walk. Okay, this is now. We are just walking around Kino? No. Kona. Kona. I don't know where we are. Like the coffee. Kona, like the coffee. Oh, Kona, like the coffee. Oh, a light bulb <laughs> came on. And look, Kona coffee right over there. <laughs> and that's real Kona coffee, even if it's Folgers. I'm gonna walk around until about. I don't have my watch, it's broken. The cruise ship is a Holland America. Apparently, there's a cruise ship that comes in every, every day, tenders in and then tenders out. And this town is full of tourists. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's great for the, the little town. They're all just cruise ship tourists. There are really no beaches here. They got these tiny little beaches. That's about it. So no strolling on the beaches. Just strolling on the seawall. And ABC stores here are every 300 feet. Okay, our hunt today is for a 3X sweater, hoodie, 3X hoodie. Private property, ground close at four.
Okay, did Trish say that she was born in Kino or Hilo? Hilo, I believe. Hilo, oh, okay. But they should use black bleed. No, they're not to damage the car. Okay, this was the Hulihi Palace. Was built in 1838 by Governor John Adams Kukuhukini company of the Kamakinikinihi the first he was one of the chiefs okay he was a chief aloha and welcome do not enter <laughs> Yeah, go away. <laughs> okay. Oh, it looks like it's open on the other yes, side. Let's go to the way. other side. They're asking for money? So, I don't know. Maybe there's a fee. Is there a fee? There's a fee, okay, there's a fee. I'm not that. $22, no. Okay. That's $44 for the two of us. I'm a senior, I can get in for six. Oh, seniors get in for 16. Okay, we're going to go to the crosswalk because Walter likes crosswalks. God forbid we jaywalk. Oh look, a Catholic church. Wanna go to Mass on well, Sunday? Well, well, I'm at my church, you can go to We can go to Mass. Church. No, Walter, well, we look, we can go to Mass. Yeah, you can go to a Catholic church. Oh! oh. Oh, GoPro, that's Go what he's saying. Oh, okay. I didn't understand what he was saying. That's a condo complex. I don't know. It must be pretty high. They go up by 10%? I doubt it. Oh, it's big. There's some more back there. Wow. We don't know what this is. Looks like condos also. Ooh. Iron and salt water, that's a lot of maintenance costs. I don't want to have a condo in the water. What? I don't want to have a condo in your salt water. You know, I, not, not with, you know. The wooden one is a lot cheaper to maintain than a metal one. The high rise near salt water. 
Do you see that's not a cruise ship now? Yep, that's not a cruise ship. Yeah, they're parked there and they built around it. Yep. Yep. And there's the cruise ship. It's a real one. And it's still tendering people. Yep, they have to go back for lunch because they're too cheap to buy lunch on the mainland. Oh, <gasps> that makes sense. They take the morning tender, they go back for lunch, and then they come back for the afternoon. Oh. Yeah, or they stay on, but yeah, they're not going to pay for lunch. I wouldn't pay for lunch. You already paid for lunch, why? Lunch is included, yeah. Yeah. Why are you going to pay extra? Where? How do you know? Oh. I think that's just funny. Eight thousand. comfortable with you being that close okay or do you want to eat no you're the picky one I just don't want vegetarian No vegan, no vegetarian. Okay, cross, cross. Oh, wait. Okay, there's Outback. What? <laughs> oh, he don't know. He don't know? Okay, we're not going to Outback. No, we eat at local places. Okay. Where we're eating? I don't know. Let's see what they serve. All right, let's see what they serve. This is wonderful. They're the eighth best cheeseburgers. I'm having the half order of Kahlua and I'm pork. The half order local mocha. He's having the half order. Half order. This is a half order. Right. Look how big this is for a half Can't order. Can't imagine what a full order would look like. Was it good? That's pretty good. good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
cheeseburgers. They have sandwiches. They have some nice Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, I got ribs again. Rice, vegetables, and a side of linguine. And a bacon cheeseburger. Bacon cheeseburger with another salad.